Welcome back to our option series. Today we're going to do a deep dive into the option lookup formula. This formula is used to generate an official OCC format option symbol from your human readable user input. The option symbol can be used to look up the option price either using our option data formula or on websites such as Yahoo Finance, your broker platform, or elsewhere. Unfortunately, option symbols have some annoying features that make them a little tricky to work with. They use three digits for the cents and they are right aligned and front padded with leading zeros. So it isn't easy to make a quick formula to generate them. Fortunately, we've done all the hard work for you. Here's a CSV file that I downloaded from Robinhood. Now Robinhood doesn't officially allow CSV downloads, but there are Chrome extensions that will do this for you. Now that we have the data, we can look up the option symbols. For option lookup to work properly, you need to have four pieces of data. Symbol, expiration, strike, and call or put. So now that I've downloaded this from the broker, I can use option lookup. Let's create a new column, and then I will select the four cells in my formula that have the data that I need. So the process is very simple. We just use equals, option lookup, and then we select the four cells. So that's gonna be the symbol, the expiration, the strike price, and the option side. The four cells do not have to be in any particular order, so you can arrange your spreadsheet however you'd like, but you do need to have these four pieces of information, symbol, expiration, strike price, and option type. Now let's take a look at another broker. This time, the CSV file is from TD Ameritrade. Like most brokers, Ameritrade will allow you to download CSV files uh, so you can get an official CSV from them. Let's check and see how to use option lookup on this file. We can use it directly on that symbol column. Since all four key pieces of data are in the same cell, this time we're only going to select this one cell for our option lookup formula. The syntax is exactly the same. That's the equal sign, option lookup, and then we select the cell that we want to work with. And again, since that cell has all four pieces of information in the single cell, we only need to use one cell uh, for this CSV file and dragging and dropping the formula through the rest of the cells in this CSV file will generate the option symbol for every other row in the file. And for the final test today, we're going to use a CSV file that I downloaded from the Thinkorswim desktop platform. Look at how the option symbol is a hybrid format. It's almost an OCC format but they don't respect the rules for right aligned strike prices or leading zeros. And that is no problem. With option lookup, we can just feed this hybrid symbol into the formula and it gets converted into a proper option symbol with leading zeros and right aligned strike prices. So the same procedure here, just drag it down and let this, the formula generate the option symbol for the entire spreadsheet. Now look at this final sheet and we'll see how option lookup can even work with partial dates or incomplete dates. In the first cell you'll see an option with a fully formatted date with day, month, and year. The formula will obviously have no problem creating an option symbol from that. But what happens if we don't include the day? Look, you'll see it says August 2023, it is missing the day. So if we don't include it, the formula will assume the monthly expiration for that month. And now let's look at the option below there. There's no day or year. So it's just going to assume the monthly expiration for the closest unexpired option. So January becomes January 19th. 
2024. I'm recording this in August of 2023. So instead of assuming the January 2023 expiration, which has already expired, it's going to assume the January 2024 expiration. So as you can see, it's created a proper expiration date from just a month uh, without the day or the year. Now we've gone to great lengths to try and get option lookup to convert from pretty much every format out there into a properly formatted option symbol. But if you find that your broker uses a format that we haven't contemplated and you can't get the formula to generate an option symbol from your CSV file, just open up a ticket at our help desk and we'll get your broker's format added. Thank you for watching and happy trading.